I mean, I think back to when me and you first started Pipeline way back in the beginning. And quite frankly, it was just a lot of long, long nights and long weekends. And now we have an, such an incredible team. Um, none of this would have been possible without our team and without yeah. the community itself helping shape it. The Pipeline team has been heads down for the last few months, and we're incredibly excited to share that we've completely rebuilt Pipeline with you in mind. Our brand new member journey is all about a personalized experience, improved content, and discoverability. We've also improved our tech, so we're able to develop more tools to help support your growth in the coming months. A few of the things we've done to help you on your journey include a fully remastered playbook with our newest pillar, Mindset. 100 plus newly recorded modules with playbook progress bar to keep you going, a personalized dashboard with goal tracking to keep you on target no matter what your goal is, a brand new mobile experience to take Pipeline with you on the go, dark mode, never burn your eyes again, events that are easy to find on your dashboard and added to your personal calendar with just one click. Whether you've been with us since the very beginning or recently joined our community, we can't thank you enough for joining us on this journey and believing in our mission to help educate and empower creators everywhere. It's thanks to you that we've had this opportunity to get to this point and we're just getting started. A lot of people were talking about uh, dark mode in the chat, which has been really cool. Even just overall, like the mobile experience and having it that fully fleshed out having the playbook now having so many more videos the mindset pillar uh it, there's a lot more to it so it's really exciting to see all of it coming together especially after all of the months to work everything that we've kind of put into that and for what we're also building for with the future for it uh it's just it's super super cool yeah it's it's really really exciting i mean i mean i think back to when me and you first started pipeline way back in the beginning and quite frankly, it was just a lot of long, long nights and long weekends, um, putting everything together and we're in the trenches. And now we have an, an such an incredible team. Um, none of this would have been possible without our team and with yeah. the community itself helping shape it. And yeah, dark mode, that was like one of the number one requested features, yeah. even though I run everything on light mode. And I actually, I caught, is it you that run light mode as well on yeah. Twitter? Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I was on my stream yesterday and I posted a tweet just while I was streaming. I pulled it up on the screen and then, uh, uh, Fuglet, my friend, was like, are you using light mode on Twitter, Stone? What are you doing? But, like, I'm always on it during the day, so I don't know. I just uh, I just leave it on it. And then if I'm on my phone, I actually do use dark mode. I do like that. So I feel like those kind of work well together, and we did have, you know, a lot of requests for that in general. But, I mean, towards the point of, like, what, what I'm most excited for for it is, I, I mean, really, I think it's the video component with a lot of it, having that information. I think that's really digestible for people in terms of, bringing some of that down. Obviously, it was a lot of text. When I wrote the initial playbook, it was just, it was months and months and months of me sitting there writing, thinking through a lot of different stuff. And some people that works really well for, you know, learning things and going through and reading some of that information. Some people like video and find that much more engaging. I think it's a very overall engaging format. That's one of the reasons like YouTube's so big as it is. And uh, even streaming is so big as it is, whether it's on Facebook, Twitch, whatever, right? Like that's, it's just a fun, even all you guys here, I'm sure it's, like even if I'm watching a podcast, even like Spotify's got its thing now and like watching, you know, the video component of it, or, or it's just, it's just kind of nice. And so I'm really excited to see how that goes, see what feedback we get from it. And uh, it, just the progress as well as just the interactive modules. I don't know what's, you know, what, what's kind of the most exciting thing for you. Uh, one of the things I really love is the idea of setting goals. I think, you know, it's really important as a creator that you set goals and it doesn't just have to be. Uh, numerical goals like I want to hit this many followers or this many subscribers it can even just be I want to create this many videos you know every week I want to make sure that I'm actually reading the playbook every single week and really helping people understand how to set goals and helping them accomplish them you know we're we started pipeline just over two years ago now and like our absolute focus is we want to help the next generation of creators um, and, and that's why we do this show you know we really yeah. want to we we talk about content creation all the time we're thinking about it 24 7 and we wanted to create a space where we can just share that knowledge and not just, you know, between myself and you, but it's like, how can we bring in other experts, whether they're experts in branding, experts in social media, you know, different creators that are, have expertise on different platforms. Like, how can we bring all of that and put it in one place? Um, and we're yeah. really excited that the team um, that we have now at Pipeline Behind the Scenes, some of you know them, um, Bird and, and Banny are obviously very much out there and, and at the forefront who are rock stars. But it's a, it's a truly a team effort behind the scenes. Um, 
and take give us feedback. You know, a lot of you are trying out the new features. Um, it's it's also one thing I love is about sixty five percent of our members were using the site on mobile, but our mobile experience was not that great um, before this update. So we spent a lot of time really investing and in improving the mobile experience. So if you're on the go or you're kind of lying on the sofa, the mobile experience is like way better on the app. So check out it on mobile. Don't just check it out on desktop. Um, it's it's really kick ass. There's a lot of components when it comes to streaming, whether it's like, you know, even what your community management agencies, um, of course, like the just the whole business back end, the revenue side, even just managing like even the taxes, which obviously has been very big uh, as of late. So, you know, it's kind of fun to have uh, that space for us. That was why it's exciting to put some of this stuff together. And even to the point of like, you know, I've spent so much of my time. It's just literally like people are like, oh, what do you what do you think about this sports team or this anything music or whatever? And I'm like, uh, you know, well, like my life has just been so completely dedicated to like content. It was like school and then content creation, my wife and you know, or girlfriend at the time, the fiance. So it's like I didn't really have too many other interests outside of it. And even like now, like I'm still so I just love it so much, like following everything in the industry uh I, i'm just like it's just fun for me like this is my hobby even like some of the people that i've met like i've been more excited meeting like when i met shroud that was like one of the most exciting moments for me even you know i i it, meeting other people that i've met at some of these other crazy proams and events that i've been to so it's uh i don't know i'm just very much in the world and it's always fun talking about these things and kind of exploring it. and to your point too like even doing the state of streaming show it's really fun to bring it all together uh on this as well yeah i mean we're i'm excited to see where it keeps on going i obviously i love this industry i i really think there's going to be a lot more coming from it and even what we're going to be talking about in some of these uh next couple of topics here uh it's it's all keeping boating well which is really exciting and it's fun it's fun to see it's fun to always talk about yeah and i would i would also say like for us one of the things we love about pipeline is it brings creators together you know, it's a space where content creators can truly come together, connect, especially the early stages. Because it's quite frankly, content creation is, to your point, it can be a pretty lonely ride. You know, you're so focused and tunneled on pumping out content all the time. It can be really hard to, you know, stay motivated or um, connect with other creators unless you get the chance to go to an event, which no one really got the chance to do last year. I know, especially um, the last year, man. Oh, I do so miss that, that so much. It's one of the great things about the community is there's other people that are on the right with you. So you can really connect with, with other creators. And it's one of the things that I'm super proud of is you see people making lifelong friendships. And the reality is content creation is hard. It's really hard. You know, it can take you years to, to, to break through and make it. And it's better to do that with other people than doing it alone. 